Ice Janky came out of there well. La Chance trying to wrestle Press Lash from the inside. Tough Customer shows speed and Canyon Wind gets involved early and Ice Janky crosses over with the lead as they hit the opening turn. General Challenge is fifth toward the outside. Lifetime Man sixth at the rail. Key Western seventh. Now Tough Customer drives onto the top there. Canyon Wind would like to bank in third, but there's not enough room, so Dave Miller presses on with him. Further back is Cyanide. He's eighth on the outside. Opening quarter, 27 and three. I see future ninth and mighty might morgan trails the field canyon win to the lead but he'll see immediate pressure because general challenge is marching up on the outside for moiseev and press lash is out and rolling as well so the lead changes hands again general challenge to the top press lash applying immediate pressure and canyon win racing third key western up on the outside so press lash is about to clear that'll leave key western first up to challenge general challenge on the inside keeps press lash out there key western was three wide brief Play as they reach the half 55 and 4, but he still drives onto the front. It's Pearson Key Western to the top. Press Lash now racing in second. General challenges third. Stuck on the outside there is Sinai who's starting to retreat. Canyon Wind slips up to his inside fourth. Tough Customer also riding the rail. He's fifth now, about six lengths from the lead as they pace to three quarters. And Key Western is edged away. He's three and a half lengths in front in 123 and 2. Press Lash cannot stay with him. He's back in second. General Challenge is tipped to the outside third. Canyon win fourth. Tough customer fifth with Lifetime Man sixth. But it's Key Western now six lengths clear with a 16th to go. Tough customer from between horses trying to get up for second. But they're coming down to the line. And it is Key Western with a decisive victory in the Suslo. $125,000 Western Hanover yearling unraced at two. Has a coming out party here in only his sixth lifetime start. A stakes record for the winner. Ken stuck behind Sinai last week who was gapping cover in that one. There's no daily trainee. We'll get some time off after victory and aim for the Burlington in Canada next. The lightly raised son of Western Hanover is eligible to the Berry Creek and the Meadowlands Pace. Hollywood Hayden's program best bet of Holly Hotshot here reminds Pierce of Triple Crown winner Blissful Hall. Adam Victor's patience paying off once again. Uh, well, no one out to the uh, yelling sales. And this is a horse that uh, Noel spotted uh, dead on, the horse that he wanted to go with. And he's always been very, very high on him. Uh, he's had some uh, breathing problems, so we decided to back off on him um, as a two-year-old. And we're just coming back uh, this year. You don't race most of your horses at two. No, we don't believe uh, in, in, in really pushing horses at two. We believe... Uh, um, that we'd like to really steer our horses, go for three years old and, and on. I, I just uh, prefer to see older horses racing. 